Hello everybody, this is uh, Army Boy 80 and uh, I'm logging in today for the sixth day on this new account. Um, these are the rewards um, and I'm gonna probably go ahead and get those super llamas just to get a whole bunch of weapons. Uh, I don't really have expedition stuff unlocked per se, but this is how I do a lot of farming. I actually don't farm, I do expeditions. Um, they do use heroes, they do take a little time, but I get bacon, 172 nuts and bolts, I don't even have to go search for um, duct tape, batteries, coal, herbs. Um, if you use gas traps, this is what I recommend you do. Um, a lot of times you'll get a lot of the stuff. And this is just a low end uh, red toolbox looking one. Uh, I think it's Fortnite run or something like that. Anyways, so some of the stuff I can't actually carry. So it puts it in your storage. Um, so when I do need it, I can go get it out of the uh, Storm Shield storage. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, that's how I do a lot of my farming. It saves me time. Um, I haven't really been on this profile. This is literally the only thing I have unlocked on it. So if it's not one, this will only give you brick. This will give you the people to do like transformations. Um, or to actually do these expeditions. More brick, and this one's just wood. Um, I'm gonna unlock another skill point to get an, another set of these trucks. But right now I'm at a low level, so I can't really do the ones I want. But when you do ones over 150 um, power rate, the little green number, the power rate, you'll get malachite and sturdy mechanics in those so the sooner you start doing those the better especially going through plankerton i'll be using like copper ore at the beginning and then upgrading to silver ore by the end i'll probably have three stacks of malachite just doing expeditions um it saves you so much time just using expeditions um, you'll still have to farm a little bit but it's not as much as as you would normally so um, I got a couple more survivor slots open the think tank is the newest one I got uh, I got one on here um, I probably need to go get these skill points it's probably maxed but I hit the button too quick. So this is the daily reward for day six. More blockbuster tickets. Yeah. I might open up. Um, nah, I'm not going to open those ones up yet. I'm going to just do. Uh, I think they have the upgrade llamas, like 11 of them for 500 V-Bucks or something. Probably do do those ones today. That'll give me more blockbusters and I don't have enough to do just a separate video on that. Um, I was doing uh, Storm Shield Defenses yesterday trying to get gold because my gold is kind of low and I want to get the Raven. Um, all those mini llamas will have gold in them. Um, but I bought Pathfinder Jess in the Epic, uh, so I don't have to wait around. And um, I'm working on already gonna get her upgraded. Uh, I've got the Legendary Flux, and when this resets, I'll be able to get more Flux. Um, but I want to get the Raven, and that's basically this Survivor. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm getting. I'm not gonna buy everything in here like on my other account. Um, let me go get these points real quick. Uh, I won't be maxed, but be pretty close. 
As you can see, there's three survivors unlocked. That's basically where I'm heading. Um, after that, I'm hoping to get into the other research tree um, like pretty quick. Um, I'm going to start hoarding like skill tree points for later on. Um, there's stuff that it made me actually unlock um, in here. But I like to have this little supply drop. I don't really use the axes and scythe yet, so I left that. Um, and I'm not going to do the boat. That doesn't ever give you malachite or sturdy mechanics, so I'm not going to mess with that one. Um, unless it makes me. The, the airstrike is good. But I find that if I run the Adrenaline Rush, um, my health is good. Um, Gadget-wise, I like getting material. This way I don't have to go farming all the time. So those two, health and material, that's basically all I ever use. So those are the only ones I'm going to actually go for. Now all of the heroes I've already got got to those um, the quickest I could and they make you unlock so many and stuff so I saved a few points not unlocking everything on my other account I have everything I could unlocked uh, 72 out of 74 I'll go over it sometime with you guys but um, anyways back to where we were we were actually heading was to buy these llamas and um, this is basically so I can rank up the collection book and rank up XP wise. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the survivors, but as you can see, I'm already level 36 on here. Um, here pretty soon there should be a skill point in this area. I just got one. It's about every, every 10. So you get one in the first 10. Uh, the second yeah so on and so forth uh, 1 to 10 uh, 11 to 20 so on and so forth I think I don't know I haven't looked at really I just get them and move on pretty much so um, my other account it's over 110 with all the stuff I opened so but we are gonna start opening these right now and uh, we're gonna do seven and this will give me quite a few blockbuster tickets it says 76 left that means I got 77 loot llamas right now Jeez, this whole channel that I've been doing is nothing but loot llamas I did just uh, upload uh, storm shield defense 6 for stonewood on my account um, it went okay um, I haven't decided yet if I want to do 7 through 10 on there now that I know a little bit more where the the zombies are going to be coming from um, I'm not really paying attention to what's actually coming out of these a lot of it won't be that good um, some of it will be some of it won't I'm just going to rush through it and this way I can look at the stuff with the rolls and, and whatnot. If I do get a gold one, I'll pay attention because that means there'll be a legendary of something. Maybe I can get even mythic survivor leads. That would be cool. I've only got one on this account. And um, I've only got one legendary left on my other account the rest of the leads are actually mythic so which is pretty good and i know in the storm shield defense you can hear me hitting the buttons while i was actually playing um, I do have a camera 
But that's going to be one of those things where I'm going to wait till I hit a certain amount of subscribers before I actually implement that into my channel. Plus, I don't want to be here in Nebraska. There's uh, my internet's not, not all that great, but then I have people that know like a lot of stuff about me, and I don't want them to know that I'm actually doing YouTube. Um, so eventually it'll be on there, but right now it's not. Um, that's where that's at. I got a green screen. I'm going to try to... Um, do like different images on the daily onto the green screen so it's not the same see-through look or any of that um might have like other videos in the background or or something um i don't know it, it's there's so much going through my mind i just don't know what i'm gonna do yet but I'm just um, talking just to talk so you guys can hear what I'm thinking out loud pretty much. Um, I might run through a gameplay, just a random one here. Um, there's survivors I need to be saving for the event and um, it gives you bacon but it gives you the survivor xp and that's one thing that i really didn't pay attention to the last time i on my other account so i want to go and just run a whole bunch of like survivor missions to pretty much get all the survivor xp that is possible so i might run you through one of those um not in this game I'm going to manage all this stuff after I'm done opening them, looking at the rolls. Uh, I'll show you how many actual Blockbuster tickets I end up getting. Um, I had a couple, couple thousand already, so um, I don't really care about rares. I don't know why they have you choose them. I think I've already got a zapper. So one of those can go in the book. I'm hoping I can get through this video pretty quick. Um, on my other channel, I was playing the last couple days. I've been trying to get all the material needed for my Canny Valley Storm Shield 10 defense. Um, I didn't like how I had it set up before because I'd have to do a lot of shooting. Well, this time I did a whole different design. I might actually do like a video on my setup for like the actual storm shield. Um, but before I actually run it, I might actually just do the video for it. Um, just to see how crazy it actually gets if it goes pretty well I'll upload it but I literally after the ninth one I went through and tore every piece of material I had in that map out and so I started from scratch and rebuilt everything that way I knew I had brand new traps uh, so they're all durability should be good through the whole defense um there's gonna be i think a thousand zombies in the last wave um and there's probably gonna be a ton of smashers so um i know in nine it went after my storm shield twice so i really overbuilt this time on the storm shield just because of my last gameplay with all the smashers it was killing the little husks but I was trying to salvage what I could of the actual base and it was just it would have been harder to fix that than just tear it all down and um, restart and that's basically what happened um, my my other one wasn't 
other amplifiers aren't too bad um, they hardly ever got touched so but I overbuild um, I think it's called Forgotten City is my other one this one's called Trap City because I, I love traps at first I didn't know what um, what to name my home base so I was just like I don't know it'll be something I forget eventually so it'll be a forgotten city um, I'm getting quite a few things now I think I need like uncommon the green variant like hero so I can uh, upgrade the rarity I don't want to do I want to do it quick so that would be the least amount of points um, cheapest flux um, I went ahead and just bought like a hundred flux already I think to do it so uh, I need to do it on a survivor also um, there's a gray one in my squad I think and um, I'll go ahead and um, upgrade that uh, I want weapons right now because I don't really have legendary weapons right now hopefully I get something good ooh I'm gonna go with a shotgun oh I don't like either of them Thunderbolt or um, there's another one that I like I like to see those legendary survivors though it's already 17 minutes into the video and we've only done not even 20 of these but it's going pretty good I did take like five minutes at the beginning to talk about other stuff so should be able to fast forward through some of this and it's really not all that faster when you fast forward um, you get sniper I wanted I wanted to get that neon sniper that you can see through walls but I'm hoping they come out with something like that again look at all those blockbuster tickets there's 600 right there nice I'm probably gonna end up opening like 10 of those well that's not a shotgun that I care for but on these lower levels I guess it wouldn't be bad I, I can always adjust and get used to it um, I don't know I'm kind of fortunate on my other account I got all the stuff I like uh, I think I have both of these already and I like fast swinging knives and swords when I'm a ninja um, I like the faster animation it kills more zombies it has like a four swipe instead of the three and the three swipe it does like two swipes and then like does a straight shot down the the center and the other the four slight swipes does um, all four wide so you can kill multiple at a time uh, we'll go with a sniper probably not gonna keep it but uh, well I can't always use another shredder <laughs> actually I think I got a pretty decent one on this account that was legendary. <laughs> There's another shredder. I said I can't never go wrong getting them. So there you go. I don't know. I might end up nah I'll just continue on with this 
I'm probably going to do the same thing I did the last time with um, the, the tickets or on my other account. Only do like half the blockbusters at first and then um, do the other half after the military weapons come out. Just so I have a chance of getting them all. And all the new uh, heroes. I noticed blockbusters have been coming in either 50 or 500. I'd like the 500 every time. That's a whole llama itself. <laughs> and I've seen quite a few of them. I think it'll show the actual total points um, once I get everything opened. Um, we're at 230 items already. I'm gonna have to do a lot of recycling and uh, collection booking after this because I'm not buying any armory slots. I don't keep much anyways. I use the XP for for upgrading everything. So if I can get everything leveled up quick so I can not have to worry about it and just hoard them so when new events come out just uh, be able to upgrade the new item right away that would be awesome oh I wonder if I get a decent breacher kinda want one with fire and like crick hit that would be great I had um, had a nature one on my other account and um, after I, I think I told you the story about the guy dropping me the fire one and it was really good so I had the nature one and the other two perks weren't all that great but it was it was putting them down just like the fire one so I enjoyed using it but I ended up getting past I wasn't going to put that at Malachite or anything. I think I did actually have a Malachite, but I didn't want to go over that with it. Um, it does work, but I, I just... It's a rare weapon. I don't want a rare weapon in a level 100, um, especially when the power is less on it. So... I think I have like 80 XP boost <laughs> for friends on my other account uh, since I haven't really been playing it and I opened all those llamas and I wonder if there's a, a way I can just use it all on this profile <laughs> and I'll be gaining uh, skill points like no other I'll max out by the time I hit twine <laughs> I think that's only a 5% buff but if I have XP itself coming out of these um, then that's another 30 so that would be like 35 for a little while that would get me uh, get me pretty good skill points I have got a few legendaries which I'm kind of happy about but um, I always like seeing the XP coming out of these two um, I've seen a few uh, I might go ahead and open all those mini llamas um, that was for helping people do uh, storm shield defenses so which might be okay I don't I don't remember which one of those ninjas had the shadow stance I think this one does um, I think my mythic outlander uh, increases something with the shadow stance um, maybe movement speed or something I want to check that out because on my other account I normally run my ninja in like a damage resistance uh, with Love Ranger Jonesy and then I'll put um, 
Oh, who do I normally put in my third slot? Thunder Scorch for the AOE effect when my shield breaks. Um, which I think I just got Dragon Scorch. And I like my Mythic, but I might try uh, Dragon Scorch. I tried them before, but I didn't have them ranked up. Um, so I might might try that. I don't know. Depending on XP, that's main the main thing. Uh, I already have Ranger Jonesy on this, so we'll just do Striker AC. I think he has a anti-material perk or something. I don't know. I probably already have three of them though. <laughs> just opening these. 500 blockbuster tickets come on the more I get the better off I am see that 1600 hero XP right there I want to see how many act how much XP I'm actually getting out of these see if it's worth actually purchasing these ones also rather than just the supers like the troll stash, um, superheroes, super people. And then the ranged weapons ones and stuff. I like it when it's a variant, like the legendary troll stash where you can get any of them. I like those because you can get anything. That's where I get most of my mythics. Now, I've heard people talk about the the Horde Bash in gameplay with that Outlander, where you can put them in either supported tactical and get ammo out of a Loot Llama. I want that so bad. You don't even know. I don't like crafting ammo because I like using the nuts and bolts that I earn for um, my traps because I love traps and that's my home shield defense that's all I ever use I try to minimize actually using ammo just because I don't want to waste it um, but during missions I'll that's where I normally use it so um, yeah, I'm hoping to get something like that so I don't ever have to make ammo again. But having that supply drop, when you max it out, you get ammo towards the end. And that's been keeping my other one pretty full. Um, I think I have everything, everything pretty much open. I mean, I think so. But you know, a ton more survivors. I might end up putting some of those actually in the book. Like the grays and the greens I can put in there, I guess, for now. I'm getting quite a few. My other account, I need two certain kind of survivors. And I know which ones they are, but I'm just... I'm at limbo with it. I slotted ones with the same, the same like trap durability. Um, so then it actually matched. It's not the same as actually the lead, but that'll give a buff for like my traps and stuff. So, and um, Trap damage and durability is going to be like my favorites, but I want to have heals. I kind of want to keep it balanced. If I overpower one thing, then everything's going to lean towards that. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that doesn't just concentrate on offense. I want to have a stronger base, uh, like the walls be stronger so it takes more effort for a husk to actually break it. Um, I want the build speed so you can repair quick um, 
I'm wanting the pickaxe. I mean, if you're gonna farm, you need a strong pickaxe. So, um, like on my other account, I did every one of the pickaxe things, and I can break a loot llama by myself with Pathfinder Jess, um, and I don't have her in the actual support slot. I have Recon Scout AC, where he gives me 6% chance of double loot. So when I'm farming, I'm maximizing what I can actually get. Um, I'm getting a lot of le uh, legendary survivors in here, which is nice. I'm actually liking that. Hopefully I can replace the ones I've already got in there. I haven't really ranked those up. I've been ranking up like the mythic lead, the legendary lead. Um, Cause the other ones I'll eventually probably end up switching out. So I've been kind of concentrating on certain certain things. Not I just got a death ray in the last one. It's telling me use a death ray. Actually, I probably have quite a few of those now. So. I was reading, I don't remember if it's this next update that we should have the re-roll system. Um, that would be kind of cool. The sooner the better. I would uh, enjoy um, changing a few things. Like with my Nocturno, um, it has energy damage, but no affliction. It has no crit hit. If it had a critical hit, I would be using it more, um, but I got a siege breaker I started ranking up, it's fire, or it might have been nature, and it's going to be replacing that. I won't be making any more nocturnos once it's leveled up. So um, I know the grave digger was uh, in the Halloween event so I'm hoping to still be playing this around that time um, so I could get get that stuff but I don't know I'm gonna be graduating college um, changing career and doing all that stuff I want to get moved from where I'm at um, to a whole different coast I'm, I'm around the center of the US right now um, but I want to get, you know, more east or west coast, um, maybe south, um, depending on where I can get a job for a computer company. Um, just kind of depends on where, where life leads me. But if I could do good here on YouTube, I, I can move and just still, I'll be doing YouTube here and there. Uh, if it picks up, then I'll do it like daily. But right now, I'm I don't make any money off of it, and I don't get any views or nothing. So, um, like, I'm gonna change my like description. I'm gonna add um, add like my goals to it, and then like for a hundred subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Um, 500 another giveaway a thousand and might be a face cam uh, it just really depends I haven't haven't decided because some people have been doing this for many years and everybody's stuck like watching those people because they enjoy them well I'm gonna try to put out good content um, quality content but um, there's so many people doing this right now it might be hard to do um, just gotta find the the niche um, maybe go to one of the big events that these other people go to meet them and maybe be in a game with them or or something you know collab with them or have someone raid you or you know something like that we're getting closer to the end and I've got over 500 items. 
I think my backpack was only for 200. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be uh, be interesting. And I got a lot of legendary elite or uh, survivors. And then I won't get rid of any of those for sure. Um, but quite a few of that was schematic too. About every other one I've seen about eight to 1600 schematic. Uh, legendary defender, I don't actually have any, but I'm not worried about those yet. Um, when I get higher levels, I will. I can pretty much, ooh. I gotta go with assault rifle. I got a super shredder earlier, so. I don't really have an LMG, but I don't like the spread on them. And the military one, uh, I think the spread's gonna be better, so. And I think I have the silenced um, new SMG already through the event. So, might not worry about that too much. I was hoping we hit 600 items, but we came close. Let's see. Yeah, I got 7,900 Blockbuster tickets on this. Just opening these seven um, upgrade llamas that I could. You get 11 per uh, one you purchase, and I did seven. So that was 77 loot llamas. Uh, Survivor XP almost got 9,000 just in XP. Uh, crit damage. That doesn't have any kind of affliction, so it wouldn't be all that great at the beginning. Um, I got 10 XP boost. That'll be nice. Holy cow, I got 38 team XP boost. Someone's gonna end up getting a bunch. <laughs> uh, they'll earn XP for a while. Um, I'm just gonna kind of peek through here. I'm not really worried about like the, the traps. And Nice, I got a tire trap. With trap damage, reload, crit. What is the crit on it? The, the actual crit hit? That depends on if it's worth it or not. Um, there's one more, the hero and schematic. 6,000 schematic right there. Just opening those and 7,000 hero. Um, I, like I said I, earlier, I got the epic uh, Pathfinder Jess. I did have the rare one, which did not have the Diamond Llama, um, which is normally slotted right there after, I think it's about level 25. So the epic one I got, I've had enough points to get her back to um, the second star to max. Uh, so I'll be able to get her higher up now um, but you can see I got a lot of stuff um, I'm not gonna sit here and go through it all with you um, that's not very good rolls on that uh, not very good on that one either so hopefully that reroll comes around pretty soon. Um, I don't know. I might just scrap all these out because I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff from the other other llamas too. The event stuff. Some of these I might keep. Ooh, energy with affliction. And nice because you get energy with affliction. And then if you look at level 10, damage to afflicted targets, it goes up 15%. So that'll kind of stack on each other, get 30 or 25% when you actually have the energy affliction working on that enemy. Nice, and then the staggered knockback. Well, that might, be, might not be too bad. And I have used that one on my other account and it's not bad. Ooh. 
for rare that ain't bad I can run that in these lower end missions and be good to go um, but Jesus over 500 items it's probably gonna take me three hours like it did on my other account to go through all this stuff um, probably not actually because I, I have a pretty good method um, just go in and recycle everything <laughs> uh, and it doesn't take very long to just hit A on each item <laughs> but nice I got uh, legendary leads and stuff good um, hopefully that's nature Ooh, that actually has a crit chance on it that one might be decent there was another one I seen actually I got like a ton of those that one's water with reload uh, do a re-roll and do one of those as crit damage or crit hit that would be kind of wouldn't be bad or just put damage and damage that way the actual damage is higher and not have to worry about no crit hit but yeah if you have any crits on it yeah then that's good uh, crit damage no crit hit that's probably like a five or ten percent crit hit it's nice but not very often wouldn't happen five headshots 30 plus and 10 seconds uh, and hmm yeah there's a lot of stuff um i got a legendary patrol ward on my other account and i'm gonna play around with it um I just had to cough sorry um, I don't know I want to see if I can actually move spawns and stuff and use less material um, it takes crystal to actually do uh, I don't know what all that guy has I've never had that guy but okay guardian bull he has a bull rush. That's probably why I never really used him or anything. Um, actually, I probably slaughtered him in the collection book, not even paying attention. I don't have any good like rocket launchers, grenade launchers on here yet. Um, I'm looking to to be getting a getting one soon. Uh, that one ain't bad it's got crit chance damage and actual damage the reload that thing i used on my other account um a guy i used to party up with he had one of those and that thing would go through so much energy ammo but it would melt the zombies or the husks i should say um it was pretty good so and I'm glad after that last update they did fix the the scythe to two seconds so all the scythe work now with uh, the park with the new ninja which is gonna be nice um, I've got her I don't remember if she's legendary on here or not jeez I'm getting closer to the bottom there we hit the bottom let's uh let's go see how many slots i'm over 603 inventory is what i have on hand and 250 so like everything is pretty much marked off <laughs> look at all that that's gonna be so much xp um and i don't have the malachite yet 
to rank all those up all the way but these will be uh, two star maxed all the way um, kind of want to get this equalizer all the way up the super shredder it has nature damage uh, crit chance crit damage crit chance and damage on top of that so I couldn't couldn't ask for a better one so um, I got a lot of different weapons um, pretty much from this dino over is everything that's going to be ranked up as high as I can get it for Planker 10 and then um, after that I don't know everything is gray but there'll be a lot of stuff going in the collection book um, heck it's probably going to be at level 80 when I'm done a lot of heroes um, these are all the new ones so I should have enough XP to get that tutorial done uh, survivors got a ton of legendaries you can see right there um, ton of legendaries Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen, and then the rest is probably a bunch. Yeah, I got more uncommon than I did anything else, um, but that's okay. My rank will go up really quick after I get all that adjusted. Um, defenders. Um, I gotta do one of those tutorials on one of those and I'll just take one of these level one I think and then uh, do those but um, yeah that's gonna conclude this video um, I'm gonna be doing inventory management for half the night and then uh, I'll probably record the first game that I'm playing after I do my inventory management and it'll be uploaded not too long after this one. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and uh, be safe and have fun. Army boys out.